Hi guys and welcome back to Mo's Munchie Box. Uh, so today we are reviewing Damaskino, which is a Lebanese restaurant stroke takeaway in the Salt Market area of Glasgow. So we've ordered the mixed grill. Uh, so it's got a wide variety of meats, which I'll show you in just a moment's time. It also comes with two large portions of chips, uh, which is the French fry option. And then you've got a box of salad, which we won't be eating, it just seems to be every variety of pickle going under the sun and with it you get two of the traditional Lebanese breads uh, so we'll try that in a few minutes time as well so the price of this from Damask you know for the family mixed grill which has got a lot of meat in it was £31 so that's the Uber Eats price so I'd imagine if you're getting it in store it will be a couple of pounds cheaper uh, so without further ado I'm just going to reveal what's in that actual mixed grill the meat box as you can see, that is a full-blown family-sized portion of meat. So you've got your chicken uh, kofta kebab, you've got your lamb kofta kebab, you've got your chicken wings, lamb chop, chicken shawarma sliced up, and just pieces of chicken. You've also got chicken cubes and lamb cubes. So an absolute load happening in there. Uh, so what I'll do, I'm just going to put this on first. We'll... Do the standard, the legendary squish test and start with that. Um, one thing I will say with the squish test in this one first, because the food isn't just bought directly by ourselves from the takeaway and standing outside the shop, it has also been delivered, so it is about 15 20 minutes since these have been made. So just like what happened in Portal Peri Peri, if a lot of potato doesn't come out of it, that's not necessarily the takeaway's fault. It could just be a case of chips have now got soggy due to travelling. Um, so I will just say that as a disclaimer first of all. Do you want to taste one first? Taste the second one first. I will say chips are tasting good today. Great amount of salt and they have been cooked properly. So on the count of three, let's see how much potato comes out of this bad boy. One, two, three, squish! <coughs> So, as you can see, quite a bit of potato has came out of that French fry, and that's despite it being the fact that it is a bit cold now, it's not piping hot. So, that, that, I would say that's a massive success. Certainly, when chips are cold, like the potato just like, kind of sticks to the inside of the chip, the outer shell. So, fair do is a really good result. Um, gonna move the vegetables to one side, they will not be getting tried. Um, they looked fresh, they smelled fresh. I will assume that they are fresh, um, definitely won't be eating them. See, just for a try, like, see, even for that price, that is a lot of meat, a massive weight to it as well. Um, so to the guys in there, fair do is, sometimes when you order a mixed grill and it says a family mixed grill, it's like half that size and you're thinking, what kind of family was this like? Uh, it used to be a family, everyone died apart from one person and that accounts as still a family and, but yeah, massive fair respect on this one so I'm going to start with uh, this is something that they tend to do by the way like, and this is a Damascino thing where they get their traditional bread and they put a bit of it across the meat effectively it soaks up the meat juices and like, it tends to be the nicest piece of bread then so it's went down a lot of that like an absolute pig As the cameraman looks at me, where's my bit? In there now. <clears throat> so yeah, that was amazing. The pure look at it's got all the meat juices on it. The bread, nice, soft, not overly chewy, uh, easy enough to eat. So that that was delicious. Um, so let's get stuck into the actual meat now. The uh, first thing I will go for is the sliced chicken shawarma so to the touch it's not overly wet which is a really good thing so it's not got overly sweaty it's not low quality you can feel from it it's quite it's delicate it's got a silky feel to it rather than a greasy feel so it sounds or seems like a winner straight away uh, nice colouring on it as well from the cooking so let's just go for it So 
Jamie Elsie right up there in terms of some of the best chicken shawarma I've tried. Um, it was soft, it was gentle. It, the herbs and spices they put on that, I can't quite put my finger on exactly what it is, but absolute perfect heavenly combination. Uh, so if the rest of the grill box like that, this will be a super high score. Uh, that was incredible, like, not gonna lie, straight out there, amazing. Next thing we'll go for... <laughs> Good catch on. Uh, so, so, now that you're chicken kofta, so as you see, it's good size. Uh, very much looks like a seek kebab, a chicken seek kebab. So, comment the camera on makes quite often, let's rip the head off it. <laughs> so that's the top end, <laughs> being very to be ripped off it. As you can see, like, they're really, really well cooked inside, so there's not any, like, rawish bits. Um, it's all a nice, even colour. And my god, it's absolutely beautiful. So, sometimes the problem with this kind of food can be the person, the chef cooking it doesn't pay enough attention and you end up with one side which is like pure dark black, good grill marks on it, the other side's not as good so it's got that crispy burnt edge on one side not on the other side but this is cooked evenly absolutely perfectly uh, in terms of the taste of a chicken wow that's got to be the word to describe that um again it was super soft to bite through um i don't even think i would need even if i didn't have any teeth i probably would have got through that with my lips super super soft um nice moisture in the chicken it's not all been cooked over later to the point where it's totally dried out on the inside. Uh, yeah, I've got to say, perfect chicken right there. The marinades on it again, on point, absolutely amazing, nothing overpowering, nothing shadowing you anything else out. So fair dues to the guys, like that's two things tried in this grill box and two things awesomely good. Third thing I'm going to go to now is the lamb version of what we've just said. So again, you can see it's evenly coloured the whole way across, so just like someone was paying good attention to that chicken, uh, they paid just as good attention to the lamb. Lamb can be a bit harder to cook than chicken, it takes longer, um, and it's just one of those things where it's easier to get lamb wrong than it is to get chicken wrong, so let's see how they've done their lamb. Wow, like um, that will be. It sounds like that will be the word for this whole uh, video. Wow, wow, wow! Again, super soft, super tender, like very easily. It just breaks, um, and that is. I'm just gonna eat it before I tell you say anything else. For me, that's a sign of like absolute perfection cooking. Um, <coughs> The lamb has got a bit of kick to it. There's definitely more spice in the lamb than there is in the chicken. In terms of the overall marinade, again, absolutely on point. Um, how else to describe this? It is perfectly cooked. Um, which I'm surprised, I'll be honest, I'm surprised by that. Damask, you know, tend to get a lot of custom. They're based in quite a popular part of the city, which when the merchant city starts in Glasgow. Um, a lot of pubs, a lot of clubs, a lot of just through fair, like lots of main roads there. So they do get accustomed. I'm not, I wasn't expecting it to be as well cooked purely because I would expect them to be super busy, especially around lunchtime. But fair do is massive respect for this. Uh, next thing we will go to is lamb chop. So again, I mean, just look at. If I can just get the cameraman to zoom right into that, just so you can see. Yeah, perfect. So, um, I hope you've got a good view of that because I definitely do. I but yeah, let's go for it. I've touched it, so this one is mine.
So like I just touched on a moment ago, lamb is harder to cook uh, than chicken. But when it comes to lamb chops, because the bone involved uh, as well, and because lamb chops don't tend to usually be the same sort of thickness the whole way through, lamb chops are even harder to cook than a piece of boneless lamb. Um, but you can see there, even on a bit of a bit, like that is perfectly cooked all the way through. It's not a case of like some of it's cooked, some of it's not cooked. Uh, just sensational. Like it's the charring on it, uh, I've got to say, it's truly sexual. That's <laughs> <laughs> definitely doing it for me. I don't know about yourselves, but um, when I'm thinking about you know, that classic word, food porn, that is it. Just the colouring on that, the, the charring, get out to absolute perfection. So, fair do's again. Uh, next thing we'll go to is chicken wings. So once again, like the colouring on that, mad good. Uh, so I can feel some crispy bits on the outside of this already. And on the channel recently, we have had some really, really good chicken wings. So I think if anyone watched the Porto Peri Peri video, uh, if you haven't, well, why the hell not? Go and check it out straight after this. The wings in there are dynamite. So let's just jump in with these and see if these can compare. It sounds like I'm just repeating myself here, but again, super soft, marination on point. The these are a bit crispier on the outside as well. Um, and it also feels like they've had more marinade like put on the outside of them when they were put on the grill rather than just marinated and then chucked on the grill. So an extra layer of marinade because it is a bit wet on the top with the marinade, but that's just absolute on point for me. Um, every bit as good as the chicken wings which we had from Porto Peri Peri. So. Massive well done again, it just sounds like I'm saying the same thing over and night over again, but if it's am amazing, it's amazing. Uh, down to the last couple of things now, so next I've got, just look at all the marinade that's ending up in my hands, like, I'm not complaining about that. Uh, someone's going to have a good time sucking his own thumb after the video stops, <laughs> just to get all that marinade off. Um, so next I've got the what they've called a chicken cube, so it is just a, basically a lump of boneless chicken. Um, and again, look at the marinade on that. Loving, absolutely loving the charcoal grill marks on that. Uh, so I'm just going to bite that side actually rather than another side purely because it looks so damn sexual. So... <sighs> You can see how perfectly white again that is, and that's maybe about half of the piece of chicken off, and it's totally white on the inside. Uh, so again, sign of absolute perfect cooking, grilling. Uh, oh, it's crazy good, it's so soft. Um, and see, see another thing that you can tell for this the freshness of chicken. When we look at that, you can literally pull this tiny wee strips of chicken off. You can see all the little strips, um, and that's a sign of freshness when it comes to chicken. So. Awesome, well done to the guys. It's not chicken that's been lying there for weeks or a few days. It's quite clearly fresh. Uh, you can literally pull the little strands of chicken off. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but amazing. Uh, the last thing I will talk about then is the equivalent to that then of lamb, lamb cubes. Um, so again, just a chunk of lamb. Looks absolutely amazing. Uh, and it feels so crispy and outside, so without further, further ado, one from Oat. I'm always glad that I'm sitting on this side of the camera and not behind the camera, because the camera and I must always think, like, why why does he always get to eat first and like I don't know if I could stand on our side watching someone else eat. So fair to the cameraman, big shout out to him. Um that lamb again, it was crispier than another piece of lamb that I've had there, but absolutely on point, cooked all the way through perfectly. Um as you can see there, like again it is definitely all cooked. Uh, there's no discoloration, there's no discrepancies in that, it's all evenly cooked. So awesome. Um before I finish up I will suck my phone camera. 
that was not what I was going to say. But let's just try their Lebanese bread a wee bit as well. Try a bit by itself. I'll be honest, I say it just tastes like a normal wrap that you would get out of a Morrison and Sainsbury's Riddles, whatever. Uh, no real extra taste to it, but I'll be honest, I'm not really bothered about that now because all the meat in there is so good. Uh, last two things I'm going to try are just their homemade sauces, so if my sticky hands can now get in there. Like, this was something I really wanted to show you, like, that is a homemade chilli sauce. You can actually see the small bits of, like, crushed chilli in there. Uh, the smell is absolutely electric, and I've got no doubt this is going to be buzzing. Uh, so I'm just going to get a couple of chips, dip them in there. And this is where you got to get to see a grown man cry, because I get the feeling this is going to be on point hot. So I had expected that is yeah, uh, if you like your chilli sauces, woo, uh, that's the one. So it's quite hot, but at the same time it's got mint um, like mint yogurt or something minty in there, so it's kind of calms it down a wee bit. So initially you get that warm burst and then the mint comes in over the top of it. Uh, I also want to try the garlic mayo. See if I've got one negative to say about these guys. We also give you lots of sauce. Look how many is in that actual pot. Uh, so pretty much every pot is like that. You could definitely fill the pots up a wee bit more. Um, and I'd imagine the garlic meal is like the cheapest thing in this meal. So if th that's one thing to take away from the restaurant, let it be that. Let's... As you can see, it's not quite runny because even if I turn it like that, it's still sticking to the top end. Um, so quite a lot on that. Super garlicky. Um, I would say, like in terms of garlic mayo, like that's got to be the most garlicky mayo I've ever had. Um, quite cooling, if I'm honest. But yes, yeah, mega garlicky. Um, fair days. Like if they're making it themselves, I would expect that because they're not playing about with the formula. They find what works for them, and if the customers like it, mega garlicky, then fair days. Um, what I'll do now is I'll just quickly wrap this one up so that the cameraman can get stuck into this as well if, he, if I let him out of his cupboard. Um, so, won't score the chips as usual. All of the, like, so rather than breaking down all of the meats, I'm going to say... All of the meats were... A 9 or a 10. Um, Everything in there was perfect, or perfect without me thinking, oh my god, I need to eat that for every day for the rest of my life. Because like when I had gave two tens out for the overall review for Wedgie Delights and Charcoals, that food was just, oh my god, am I really eating this? This was very close to that without being that. So I will say an overall nine for all the food. Uh, in terms of the price, £30 for all that meat, the uh, two portions of chips. Uh, the bread and the pickles which I didn't eat. Um, I would say that's very good value for money. So 9 out of 10 for value for money. In terms of location, if you're wanting to park out there, I'll just say it's a busy, busy road. So realistically, you'll struggle for parking unless you park a bit further away. Uh, so if you're driving, maybe find somebody to park up before you then walk a wee bit to get to the shop. Uh, if you're walking, awesome. They're very quick in terms of their food, pack, uh, making up food. So to wrap it up, overall, Damaskino in the salt market of Glasgow scores a solid, solid, solid 9 out of 10.